Said, um, said, said, tell me who the most consistent is when I leave, she be so persistent. Crib over For all intents and purposes, I will be reading off a script. Never my school, we got lots of knowledge. She got some big dreams, but she's stuck in college. Look me in the eyes, said you speak like you got this shit all figured out. All figured out. <laughs> Can I hide the banana, the mic along the banana? Kinda. Now, where do I start? Just like any other story, it all began in the heart of New York. The 90s were a buzzing time for businesses. The internet was just starting to get popular. Cutting! <laughs> I don't have a movie prepared, but I bet that segment will be the best part of this video and all else will fall flat. But let's see. <laughs> Gerald and Bobby. These past four weeks have been more or less eventful, and within the next, within the next two, I'll be <laughs> I'll be 23. I view 23 as a step up in the oldness meter. 22 was always okay. 22 is whatever. Found of youth, baby. But 23 is more. Damn, I'm really revving up to the midpoint of the 20s. This is pretty serious. Of course, I'm speaking of a really zoomed-in scope, and I'm no, I'm still chugging that fountain of youth. I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Bobby, we can pass the baton back and forth like a marathon. Come on, bro. Did I reel you in by mentioning the four weeks earlier and then not talking about it? Yeah, me neither. The decision to move out of this luxurious home was made in the time since my last upload, and I haven't really told anybody like that. It's a big thing to not discuss, but it's rather a bummer of a topic and not one worthy of gossip, at least in my opinion. I mean, I have been to the movie theaters a couple of times in the past week. Let's see, we have, we got Morbius, we got Ambulance, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, and The Bad Guys. <laughs> Last week I spent 44 minutes locked outside, locked outside of my house. We changed the keys, those, or we changed the locks, the handles, and I don't have a key, so um, it's just a balance of chaos and calm, you know, it's just, it's working out. Everything's working out. Where I'll be staying after my family lets go of this house is uncertain. I more recently found out. I won't be homeless, but I bring this up because I won't be able to make videos as I have. Or in general, maybe. Like, what a fucking bummer. Ain't ready for that shit. Take it back. Take it back like this. Yeah, all I do is rhyme. All I do is get this money. All I do is grind. Play shows and chill with honey. <laughs> Camera's here, but my head, my face is this way. I used to really love music. Late high school and for a year afterwards, it was my life. But I stopped caring eventually. New releases didn't matter. FOMO didn't exist for me. I still have sparks of my old passion, and one thing that has stuck with me is relating my current age to lyrics of a song. Dion has a song titled Lonely Teenager, and he says. When I was 16, ran away, all alone, on a tray. I felt like this shit. I thought it was so cool. It was the end of my junior year. My brother and I set off for a drive 40 minutes away to pick up our dad near midnight, so I played this song. I was 16 turning 17 in a matter of minutes. Eventually, the song goes. Ain't ready for this. Ain't ready for this one. Now I'm 17, still alone, wondering if. I should go home. And you best believe I was over the moon. Longing for affection as a teenager is also oh common. I was definitely feeling it. At the end of 11th grade, I was crushing on this girl heavily and the song was so relatable. And I'll admit, I'm rusty on the age comparisons and I'm sure I'm missing at least one song, but the one I have for 21 is Netflix by g Easy. This one is a sleeper from 11 years ago, but it goes. <laughs> 21, about to be 22. Not trying to turn 30, but grab what I didn't do when I was coming up on this music. I don't have a story behind my adoration like Lonely Teenager, but G is 10 years and three days older than me. I love to look at his journey at my age and say, oh, this song came out when he was 22. Things like that. And coincidentally enough, he puts out a song less than a year later called Acting Up. Uh, I keep saying I'm a change, I'm a change. I'm 22 now, it's time to fucking act my age. I just keep telling her that this is just a stage. I'm telling you, 22 is the tail end of the early 20s. I feel that. People have been telling me, and by people, I mean too, that I'm an interesting person. I don't know exactly what they mean by that. I take it as a compliment and it's slightly ego boosting, but I can only amount those words to A. I know I have a specific personality and how I choose to express myself can be anything but boring. 
and B, the fact that I share things. I have been the most unexciting person recently and here I am. Maybe we're all interesting people. You just gotta show us. If I wanna stroke my ego, I do believe I can be above average. One of those same people said I make my videos like movies and that is an extreme compliment. As rough as my videos can be, I like implementing cinematic elements. <sighs> The type to be a dinner, but the bitch still on the phone. Don't know the cost of a dollar, but no quarter zone. Charging daddy's credit card, but quick to say she grown. She addicted to the gram like hope. I've really felt sad in the time since my last upload. There was one moment regarding the last drama I spoke about, but I think that was three weeks ago, and it's been smooth sailing since. I have once again lost the emotion of loneliness, and it feels amazing. And honestly, I have no excuse for the lack of uploading. I have been somewhat busy, but definitely could have put at least something out. My time is limited in this setup. And I'd like to put out at least three more videos, leaving me at 20 total. But I think 22 would be quite fitting. You know, 22 for 22. I've thought about this. I might get a job at a movie theater this summer. I am college educated, but that hunt has been a mess. I'm not sure. Things are so questionable with moving and future living conditions. Life is so uncertain. There's a performing arts theater nearby as well. I'd love to volunteer at and just surround myself in creative ventures I adore. This is all exciting, but time will tell. This is my outro. I've already scripted a video idea three weeks ago, and that will be next. It's titled Online Friends versus Real Life Friends, all right? See ya. I gotta go. I can't. I'm done. I did my video. It really did start in the heart of New York on the 21st of May, back in 99. The song you're hearing is one that will probably never release officially called Boss B2 by g Easy featuring Logic, a sequel to G's song Boss B from 2011. Man, <laughs> these guys, yo, they came up at the same time. They entered mainstream around the same time as well when they released their studio albums and are nearly the same age. And most importantly, they were the first artists I discovered and fully became a fan of, mostly on my own accord, seven years ago. You know, back in the day, I didn't even have a smartphone till I was like 14, 15. I was into whatever the radio played and whatever song Pandora threw at me. Does anyone still use that? <laughs> G was an artist I found myself off a gaming video while Logic was someone I had heard of before from friends, but the nail in the coffin was the following school year when a friend had told me Logic had released an album that was sort of like a movie. g Easy's These Things Happen album was the first album I ever bought. Logic's Everybody's Tour was the first concert I ever went to. The admiration goes way back. Hearing these two on such a song where they're self-aware of their journey is so amazing to me. It's a capstone. Usually I'm obsessed with older music from the 20th century, so these two guys are just that much more special to me. I think the decade age gap between them and I serve as a perfect reference to relate my life to. Not in terms of success or accomplishments, but a casual, this is what they did at my age. And shout out to my 16 year old self. He had no idea the passion he would hold for his interests and the way he would express himself. Yeah. I mean, it was a time you had to be there. Just kids with bright eyes and big dreams, man. Me and Bobby go back like seats and scrapers, come on.